a resource reading near here. This gate needs a key card to open, I think. This gate needs a key card to open, I think. This gate needs a key card to open, I think. something rare. Taking your fire!
data on this facility, but a long time ago there was a plan to develop an academic city nearby. Yes, I Looks like an art museum was already built, so maybe they're using that. It's a key card to open, I think. Still fight. Come on! Do it! There! 
become indispensable to each other. That looks pretty good. I think that's a nice choice. is this facility? It looks like some sort of assembly line. Hey, those boxes. Aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw? <laughs> what is it, Sugumi? Does it contain what I brought earlier? A human head. You've gotta be kidding me. All of these? What in the world is this place? Others are being held in this building. And... Others feed on human brains. Even if that's the case, why does it seem like this factory processes the brains? I hate to say it, but couldn't they just toss in the whole head if they're just feeding them to the others? This smell... Where is it coming from? It does smell a little strange here. Almost like... blood. Those ampules! I think I'm going to be sick. This can't 
be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. Looks like Kyoka couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already figured it out. This is Spring Pharmaceutical's Seiron factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Seiron government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait! Let's talk! Hey! First you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. Now you're trying to hide this cruel place? Don't you feel anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking?
Let's regroup. Thank you for your help. Drugs out of human heads is crazy. We have to stop them. But Naomi, she needs this. What do you mean? What is this facility for? That's. Uh... <sighs> I can't take this anymore. I'm telling them everything. No, I will. This place is an other research facility run jointly with Spring Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of people with powers are being brought here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. The rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. That's horrible. Hey, are you really sure about Seiron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Seiron causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others or processing the brains into drugs? No, we can't, obviously. That being said, there are in fact some people who've been forced to accept it. Like my brother. And then there's Kasane, people whose loved ones have been turned into others. They depend on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication, even letting them talk. Does Karin have a family member that's been metamorphosed? No, not a family member. Has Luca or Fabuki mentioned it? Alice? <laughs> Yuito! His brain is... <laughs> Yuito! Yuito? Is this happening because I used my power? My head is killing me! Are you okay? What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Huh? Oh. <laughs> this is... Oh. Damn. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. Yuito. Our assignment is complete. We should withdraw. Yeah. We should get out of here as soon as possible.
Wataru said he would report to Major General Fubuki for you. Okay. Uh, sorry. I know I should be the one to do it, but I'm just not feeling well. What are you talking about? It's okay. Don't worry about it. No, that's not exactly truth. I probably would have taken the ampule too if I... I know saying that won't help with whatever guilt or... Thanks. The medication should be chemically processed, so consider... It may be unpleasant. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I know it might be difficult, but whatever you do... What? We... well... We saw it happen. You were outside the hideout. Oh, we're sorry. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I know it's not in my stomach anymore, but I just couldn't. It's fine, but you have to fight through it. You can't make it a habit. You're right. Besides, Naomi, it must be so much harder for her. Being turned into another is awful enough, but now she has to feed on these brains? I don't know where she is right now, or how she's doing. When I think about her, I know how much better off I am. If Naomi hasn't given up, then I can't either. I know I can get through it. After you do get through it, you'll be able to help support Naomi when you see her again. Yes. You're right. I... I need to get it together. I'm just wondering if New Himuka is stocking up on those ampules, knowing full well what they're made of. If that's the case, and they do indeed know, then they're going to have to answer to me. No. I have a feeling that New Himuka already knows everything. I just can't get myself to accept it. I'm sorry. Huh? You don't need to apologize. You have nothing to do with the hospital. I know, but I just wanted to apologize. I want to look into the hospital and do something about it. This is a tough position for the both of you. You too, Luca. Everything Karin has done must be hard for you. Sugumi had to see a lot of things she never wanted to as well. I think we've all had our fair share of suffering. But what's important is that we continue to support one another, right? Yeah. Sorry I worried everyone, and... Thank you. Maybe I should talk to Sugumi. I don't know what to tell you, Yuito.
help you pick Pick up the slack. That's what a team is for. Thanks, Wataru. This is very nice. I never... Huh? What is no... It's very... I think I'm starting to understand you a little better. Really? How have you been feeling lately, Yuito? I'm feeling great. Thanks for asking. Of course. Make sure to rest when you need it. Part of being OSF is taking care of your body. See you around. Are you going to work out now? Yes, my daily routine. Would you like to join me? Light exercise is good for maintaining your health. You're right. Okay, I'll work out with you. <laughs> Maybe you can make a training program for me. I would be happy to. I promise to make the program that best suits your body type and fighting style. Great, thanks. Ugh, I'm beat. I'm so thirsty. Do you want some water, Luca? <sighs> no, you should drink it. I have this. What is that? A special protein drink that I concocted. It's best to drink it within 45 minutes of exercising. I've never had one. Is it good? I made it strawberry flavored, so it's easy to drink. The intake of protein is essential for building muscle. Not only do you work out, you even worry about your nutrition. That's amazing. Protein is well known to people who like exercise. It's nothing to be surprised about. It's not just that. The program you just went through was pretty hard. You're really stoic about it. Why do you want to train so much? Well, because I'm small. When compared to those around me, I'm always at a strength disadvantage. So I want to do all I can to lessen that disadvantage. A strength disadvantage? But why does that matter? There's almost no one as good as you in a real fight. You're a Septentrion, and you have top-class strength when it comes to a fight with powers. I do not want to rely solely on my power. Why not? You have an amazing one. I don't see the problem in relying on it. Let me put it another way. Power is something you are born with. It cannot easily be changed. However, muscles are different. The harder you work, the stronger they become. Isn't that amazing? Huh. Um... 
I guess it does seem pretty amazing, maybe. Yes, you're beginning to understand. Also, my brother is always ahead of me. No matter how much praise I get, I can never equal him. That makes me want to work hard. I see. I definitely understand that. Thank you for saying so. Since you are here, I'll tell you my secret. What is it? Wait, just a moment. This is the backpack you always wear. Oh, that's heavy. What's in this? I've made adjustments to my daily routine to train my muscles. I have weights inside my clothes as well. You call them adjustments, but it sounds like torture to me. These extreme methods might be the secret to his strength. Will you put some weights in my clothes too? Of course. They are custom made to be removable. So I will put this here, and there you are. Great. Now I'll try to walk. Whoa! Oh, my body is swaying just from moving a little. <laughs> it's not very heavy, but it will be difficult until you are used to using your core. You can borrow them if you like. Now, I'll do another set. You can keep going? Yes, I still have a lot left to do. You can take a rest if you are tired. That's a Septentrion for you. I can't believe he always wears weights. But there's something kind of desperate about the way he's exercising. I feel like he's pushing himself too hard. Can he really handle it?
It's nice that we can all train together. Let's do our best. It's sprayed something like oil. Don't get on.
Maybe I should talk to Sugumi. What's up, Sugumi? I think I finally found that flower. Look at this. Oh. It's called a silent snowmelt. It's a rare flower that only blooms at high altitudes. Is this the one you saw? Yeah, this is the one. That's incredible. I can't believe you found it with such little info. This flower's natural environment is different from Suo's climate. So it took some time to find. What does that mean? It blooms on cold high mountains, so the temperature in your garden is too high. Growing it would be difficult. Oh, I guess that's why they always wilted. No, it's amazing that the flowers bloomed at all. I would like to try growing them myself, but... Is there a problem? Oh, you did say it was a rare flower. Yes, you can't normally get seeds or sprouts. There isn't any data about its natural habitat, either. There isn't any information about how to collect them yourself, or where to look. I'm stuck. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. If they were in my garden, that means they probably grow somewhere in New Himuka. I... I want to search for this flower. Honestly, I felt bad about leaving all the searching to you. So I looked into it a little myself. The gardener who planted this flower already passed away. So I haven't got a single clue where he got it. That's sad. I'm sure he was good at what he did. Yeah, he spent a lot of time and care to raise it in our garden. And I figured out why I remembered this flower in the first place. After my mom died, I was really sad for a very long time. The old gardener? He knew she liked those flowers, so he planted them for me. I see. So, I'm glad I know their name, at least. Thank you. But... you haven't seen the actual flowers yet. It must be frustrating. Still, that's good enough for me. Thanks to your thorough research, I can look at pictures of the flower whenever I want. You want to see the real thing, don't you? I'll check some more. Huh? Oh, well... I'd like to see it if I can, but you don't have to go out of your way. I promised I would find it, so... I don't want to give up. Okay. Thanks, Sugumi. And I'll help in any way I can. Okay. She was really excited. She can be pretty stubborn sometimes. I didn't know that about her. Although, the fact that she let me see her like that means she's starting to open up. That makes me... Are there any... Um... If you... I mean... So, you said you wanted to test this battle support program? Yeah, I want you to try it out. Is it safe? That's what the test is for. We don't have much time, let's get started. I'm installing it now. Okay, it's installed. Try using your power. Power? Uh, okay. I can lift up this cup. <laughs> What's going on? I'm seeing noise. Calm down. It'll go back to normal once you stop consciously using your power. Oh, you're right. That really surprised me. Nice. It was a success. What is this program? When it detects power usage, it affects your visual senses to discourage its use. I call it the forced break program. What? 
Why did you make a pointless program like that? It's not pointless. If you apply various conditions to the program, you'll be able to restrict overworking. It's even more effective with an organization like the OSF where powers are necessary. Nobody can be working 24-7. In other words, I considerately made this program so people can use it as an excuse to rest. I still think it was pretty reckless to stick it in my head. Anyway, you can't fight now, which means you have to rest. Enjoy your free time. Well, I am pretty tired. Why don't you order something? Nothing like eating your favorite food into a food coma. Okay, then. <sighs> I guess I'll take a break. Although, I've got tons of problems I should be dealing with. I wish Nagi were here. <sighs> What's with all the sighing? Am I that boring? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean anything like that. There's just so much happening that I'm having a hard time relaxing. I don't know how to deal with it. It's easy. Just do whatever it feels like your body wants to. You know, like this. Just lean back. Ugh, that's so relaxing. You try. Wow, that's quite the position. I wish I saw you like this before I enlisted. What's that supposed to mean? Before I enlisted, I only knew you through the press. You were so friendly and lively. That's when I'm on the clock. This is me off the clock. If you don't know when to switch between the two, you're going to break down. I make sure to stay off the clock as long as I can so I don't break. I think you should do the same. Thanks for your concern, but I can't just... I see. I'm not trying to push anything on you. I apologize, but I learned a lot. Wait, did you uninstall the program? I'll try to tone down my advice from now on. Time to call it a day. She does it so she doesn't break. I guess that's one way to live. Although, that program is a little overkill. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry about what happened in Mizuhagawa. You don't have to apologize. We both had our reasons, so no hard feelings. I'm glad to hear you say that. I really wanted to go easy on you. You were a lot stronger than I anticipated, so I couldn't afford to hold back. Did you get hurt? You don't need to worry so much. I wasn't hurt, and even if I was, I can give myself first aid. Wow, that's impressive. I've always studied all sorts of things, so I could do anything on my own. I see. I do remember you having a good head on your shoulders ever since you were little. Hmm? Since I was little? How do you know what I was like when I was little? Oh, I was just imagining it. I'm sure that's what you must have been like. Why is she so panicked all of a sudden? I suppose I shouldn't doubt her since she's just worried about me. 
Anyway, I'm totally fine, and I can take care of myself. Really, it's okay. All right. I'm sorry I'm such a worrier. I'd just like you to make one last promise to me. Stay away from Togetsu. Togetsu? Why should I promise that? I can't tell you why. But something dangerous might happen to you if you go there. I can't make a promise without knowing why. You have a point. I'm so upset that I can't do anything about it. I don't know what you're hiding or what you're trying to say to me. But I can tell that you're worried. So, thanks for looking out for me. Be careful, Yuito. You too.